Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Pina Verde. This is a green chartreuse variation on the Pina Colada and it was originally made by uh, Eric Castro while he was tending bar at Polite Provisions in San Diego. Pretty excited about this. I've seen it a number of times uh, listed and shared on Reddit. I've had a couple of people reach out on Instagram and request that I make this cocktail. So I'm actually gonna do it two different ways. Uh, I believe the original, I'm not 100% sure, um, was blended, but I'm gonna do it side by side comparison of blended versus blended with a milkshake maker. The reason why I'm doing this actually is because I don't particularly like blended cocktails. I don't like a lot of ice, don't like that extra dilution, but we'll wait and see. We'll see what happens. My mind could be changed. So this calls for 45 mil of green chartreuse. Followed by 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of fresh pineapple juice. And then we have cream of coconut. If you don't have this or you don't have access to this, it's actually very simple. Um, it's coconut cream, sorry, coconut milk and sugar. So you can uh, follow the link up here to the recipe. Extremely simple to do. It's got a relatively long shelf life as well. So 22.5, three quarter ounce. Boop. Followed by 15 mil, half an ounce of fresh lime juice. So I've got crushed ice, one level scoop. Obviously your scoop could vary to mine, but. And I just gave it a five, six second blend. So the idea of the milkshake maker is it aerates the cocktail. Adds a little bit of dilution, gets it really nice and cold. As opposed to the blender, it'll blitz it and it'll add more dilution and it'll make it more like a smoothie. So I've still added the same amount of ice. So apparently Eric was working on this recipe for about four years. Originally he was adding uh, green chartreuse to his pina coladas and then it kind of evolved from there. Give this a quick little blitz. Not that much. <laughs> and this one's garnished with a mint sprig. And a Surfside sip. At the time of filming, there's three more days left of the competition so you can win some Surfside sips. Otherwise, if you do miss out, you can head to surfsidesips.com, use the coupon code STB20 and get 20% off. And a huge shout out to Steve for purchasing the green chartreuse using the buy the back bar feature. Thanks. Okay, side-by-side -side comparison of a blended Pinot Verde and a, well, it's blended as well, but it's with a milkshake maker. Lightly blended. Thank you, Kat. Cheers. That is... <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. Um, an awesome variation on a, a classic pina colada. You kind of expect it to be more potent, a lot stronger, but it is relatively sweet. Like you've got the, the sweetness from the pineapple juice, uh, a lot of sweetness from the cream of coconut, and you've also got that sugar content. It is a strong liqueur, it's 55%, but it's also got a lot of sugar in there. So it actually really does a fantastic job of capturing the essence 
of green chartreuse, that flavour without the potency. I feel like that is slightly more diluted. That's pretty much the, the key difference. I prefer the gently blended using a milkshake maker. It's got a little bit more intensity. It's got a stronger flavor. But in saying that, the, the difference is so minute. Um, it's, it's very, very similar. So if I was to choose one, I'd pick this one. If you want to recreate at home, you don't have a blender, you don't have a milkshake maker, simply shake it with crushed ice. Use a mallet and a Lewis bag, crush some ice, give it a shake, and dump it straight into your glass. If you have been hesitating to buy a bottle of green chartreuse, this is probably the cocktail to uh, get you over the edge. You should definitely try this. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.